Series moving to Europe, their chief rivals have a chance to shine. 27-year-old Maria Butirskaya, the reigning world champion, begins to build on last year's remarkable success. And 17-year-old Yevgeny Plushenko, the current world silver medalist, hopes to start a run toward becoming number one. The men and the ladies skate for the Nations Cup title as the road to gold continues next on ABC Sports. The third of six stops on the ISU Grand Prix of figure skating brings us to Gelsenkirchen, Germany, a city of some 300,000 not far from the Dutch border. For the top Olympic eligible skaters in the world, a chance to earn points, money, and ultimately a trip to the Grand Prix final in January. And we welcome you inside this intimate arena known as the Emscher Lippe Hall. And hi everyone, I'm Terry Gannon. From North America, now to Europe, later to Asia. The skating odyssey that is taking us all around the world pays a visit today to the western part of Germany. The men on the ice warming up for their free skate. The title about to be decided here at Nations Cup. And right now the standings after the short program look like this. The reigning world silver medalist, Yevgeny Plushenko, making his season debut in first place. Right behind him, Zheng Jin Guo of China. And the Americans doing very well. Two in the top five, Matt Savoy and Trifon Zivanovic. Joined now by Olympic silver medalist Peter Carruthers. Susie Wynn will join us a little bit later when the ladies take the ice. But Peter, you look at this field headed up by Evgeny Plushenko. All he's trying to do this year, his motivation moving from the number two spot in the world to the number one spot. How important is it to start off with a win? It's very important, but he better lace his skates up better in the free program yeah. than he did in the short program. In the short program, the lace came undone. He had to stop, a retake started up, and then when he got on the ice, he was fine. But in the free program, he is going to let the big quad fly, so he'll definitely want his laces tight. Now, this competition is important because he does want to build up his confidence. He wants to take on Alexei Agudin later in the year and take away that world title. So to hit the ground running here in Germany, very important. Americans have done well so far, but as always in the men's free program, it's jump your way to the top. And the quad always figures into that. Here are the Grand Prix standings right now. Through two events, Elvis Stoiko leads with 16 points. Alexei Yagudin in second. He has 12 points. Remember, he won at both Skate America and Skate Canada, but Skate America was a non-scoring competition. You can skate in up to three of these events, but only two actually count in the standings. And we get underway with an American making his debut in the Grand Prix this season. 24-year-old Trifon Zivanovic from Los Angeles in fifth place after the short program. He is the reigning U.S. silver medalist. First trip to the Worlds last season where he finished 16th. Got the character going to West Side Story. Opens up with the triple axle. Triple axle always takes off forwards. Three and a half rotations. Hoping to follow up with a triple toe loop. Not able to, oh, right there he got it. You could see the mistake after the first jump. This free skate, as always, four and a half minutes in length and worth two thirds of the overall score. He has said that he may attempt the quad. If he does, it'll be right here. Only a triple.
some changes since last season. Left his longtime coach, Gary Visconti, for a while this summer and worked with Doug Lee, the former coach of Elvis Stoico, but now he has been reunited with Gary. They're working together again. to the triple Lutz off the spread eagle. Great experience for Triffin to be skating against the likes of Evgeny Plushenko. Where he will learn very quickly what he has to do with triples and quads and artistic balance within the program to be competitive. throughout the performance, but I think we're just seeing the beginning of Tripp and Zivanovic. Got a long way to go, but he's definitely off to a good start here. Starting to be tested at this level, too. As we mentioned, his first trip to Worlds last season when he was a 16th place finisher in Helsinki, but trying to work up the ladder. Tripp and Zivanovic from Los Angeles. He completed six clean triples within this program. Here is a look at the triple axle that he stepped out of and then showing a lot of guts went right up for the triple toe loop. And now this is hard because look at the position he's in. That's the spread eagle. But now he has to turn his shoulders and then jab the right foot and do three rotations and go for the Lutz. A triple Lutz, that is. Good to do. Impresses the judges. So there'll be two sets of marks, of course. The first for technical merit, the second for presentation. And the first set, a range of 5.1 to 5.5. Pretty good marks for Triffin. Considering where he fits into the world of men's figure skating, definitely starting out well. And now the marks for presentation. 5.0 to 5.4. Thought those might be a little higher. Certainly carried the theme, as you said, all the way through of West Side Story. Still has got to develop his artistry a little more. So the first skater of the free skate, Trippin Zivanovich. Up next, in second place after the short program, Zheng Jin Guo of China with not one, but two quads planned in his free skate. a product of the Chinese skating system that is emerging as a major force on the world scene. Zheng Jin Guo may never have started skating if his parents hadn't been at such a loss, trying to figure out a way to challenge their young son's overabundant energy. He was a very naughty child, always running. 
He could never keep up with him. We let him skate because we thought sports would be a good outlet for him. Soon after he started, a, a coach from the national training program took an interest in him. Guo moved into a dorm room at the local training center when he was only seven years old. Awake at 6.30 each morning to train until 9 a.m., then to school until 3 and back on the ice for two more hours. He was homesick, but I went to see him after work each day to do his wash and help him with his homework. The years of living away from home to dedicate himself to training started paying dividends when he became the first skater to land two quads in the same program at the 97 Worlds in Lausanne. That performance sealed his place as the number one skater for the national team, meeting a place at the Olympics and the 98 Worlds. I know I have talent as a jumper, and it's an honor to be chosen to represent China in world competitions. But it's also a lot of pressure because only one man from China gets to go. I always have to work to keep my place. Rose jumping put him on the map. But he's been criticized for being mechanical and lacking artistry. Meanwhile, Guo's best friend, Cheng Jin Li, has been making a mark as an all-around skater. In an attempt to maintain his edge, Guo spent the summer working with different choreographers, Sandra Bezik among them, and also studying the moves and the music of his Western competitors. I've studied choreography with different teachers and changed my music. I hope that exposure to other skaters and different styles will help me improve. He feels a debt to China, to the government who paid for his training, and to Chinese skaters, those who came before and those training now to follow him. I need to do well in competitions to contribute to the motherland. We have more opportunity than skaters in the past, so we have a responsibility to take skating further in China. Someday, when my career is finished, I want to use what I've learned to help young skaters. The better we do now, the more chances skaters will have in the future. Well, the competition among the Chinese skaters is very fierce. It will be interesting to see who makes it to the World Championships this season. Zheng Xin Guo, a seventh place finish in Helsinki last season. In second place, right behind Yevgeny Plushenko. Obviously controls his own destiny. If he wins the free skate, he is the overall winner. And he has two quads planned. Check this out. He'll warm things up with a triple axle, triple toe. <laughs> Pretty nice amazing. Nice warm up. And a lot of his excellence is coming from the fact that his teammate, Chen Jing Li, has been really pushing him. There's a great rivalry going on in China. And these two are just pushing each other to excellence. Here's the quad. Whoa! <laughs> How easy did that look? Oh, just superb jumping mechanics. What he does is he bends his knees and springs into the air in a perfect perpendicular position. ability to jump certainly well chronicled in 97 worlds he became the first man to land two quads in one program working on his 
artistry and choreography. And this year working with Gorsha Sir and Rene Roca of the U.S. on just that. Guess what, folks? Oh, he really falls hard on number two quad. Not the spring into the air that he wanted, the rotation. Not as clean as the first quad. Therefore, real problem on the landing. And again, losing his technique altogether. minutes into the program we saw excellence in the beginning problems in the middle now the triple Saukau his last triple Well, he started out so well trying to challenge Evgeny Pleshenko, who is still to skate. But Zheng Jingguo in second place after the short program with a problem on the second quad attempt and then a few problems after that just seemed to run out of steam in the last minute and a half of this program. Zheng Jingguo. He got four triples off and only one quad. Still a remarkable. Here's the first one. The timing was all fine. The upper body working nicely with the lower body. That one worked, but what happens is if you don't keep all of those mechanics intact for the second quad, this is the result. Reach back, doesn't get the same explosion that he had on the first one, and the landing just blows out. And then the mechanics of the jumps falling apart here even more. You can just see the abrupt pitch forward Falling off balance. Uncharacteristic of him. All right, what kind of condition do you have to be in to even attempt the two quads and that many triples throughout a free skate? Well, you know, he is getting credit for the quad that he did do. At least we're seeing marks as high as 5.7. Those for technical merit. First set of marks. And now for presentation, which all of the Chinese skaters this year are really trying to improve. 5.4, 5 Those are lower though, 5.2 up to 5.6. 5.3. So Zheng Jingguo of China in second after the short right now, just ahead of Trifon Zivanovic. And coming up next, the 17-year-old whose passion for this sport has carried him to the number two spot in the world. For Yevgeny Plushenko, skating is life. It's everything to me now. Without skating, I'm nothing. A time ago, back in Volgograd, I tried to quit a couple of times. But when I hadn't been skating for a week, I didn't know where to put all of my energy. I realized I need to skate. It's my life. Welcome back to Gelsenkirchen, Germany. Nations Cup continues now. We take the show on the road once again next week, though. Next Sunday, it is Paris for Trophy La Ligue, the fourth stop 
in the ISU Grand Prix of figure skating, Maria Butirskaya. She will be there and headline the ladies' field. And Alexei Yagudin, the reigning world champion, will headline the men's. And you've got the two world champions from Russia. The road to gold continues next Sunday, beginning at 2 Eastern, 3 Pacific, right here on ABC Sports. And here's the reigning world silver medalist. This is his first competition in the Grand Prix this season. And as we mentioned earlier, his entire motivation this year to become the gold medalist at the World Championships. That effort starts right here. The leader after the short. In spite of all of the difficulty he has packed in this program, he still has a nice theme as he interprets Slavonic dances. He doesn't waste any time with trying to impress the judges. He'll do that right away with the quad in the beginning of the program. <laughs> and a triple toe loop right after it. That actually wasn't scheduled, that he put that in. Now the next jump he has is a triple axle, triple toe loop. Let's see if he does the triple toe loop on the end of the triple axle. He might have changed it out. Yeah, ah, that's interesting. He, I tell you. You can see him think about it for a moment. Did, right? He almost went for yep. it. He thought, no, I did it after the quad, so I won't do it after the axle. <laughs> Evgeny, only 17 years of age, grew up in Volgograd, tough upbringing, his family did not have much money, left to train and live in St. Petersburg, just recently was able to buy his family an apartment in St. Petersburg, and his father has joined the family now there. There, ah, triple axle, thought about doing the triple toe loop, a double. Pretty remarkable that he even pulled off that second triple because he was leaning so much on the first one. program is one that has good jumps, originality in the program with the choreography, the quality in spins, and jumps like that. Kloshenko has a very complete package as far as the skating goes with the content within the program. And a very easy triple loop. Remember, 
the judges love that quality and spin. And look at that, he really takes it to a new level with that Fieldman spin where he grabs his foot. That was a pretty good program. Wow. And how many more years is Yevgeny Plushenko going to be on the scene? Just turned 17 on November 3rd. The reigning Russian national champion, he beat Alexei Yagudin in that event last season. In first place after the short program, trying to hold the lead with that effort. Look at how he gets things rolling here. Usually, what he does is only a quad, but he feels so good on the end of this that he says, nah, I touch down, but I'm gonna do a triple. Really solid. Now, he was supposed to do a triple axle, triple toe here. Watch the hesitation as he lands. He kind of goes for it, and then, ah, uh, no, pass. <laughs> and you picked that up too, Terry. <laughs> Normally, indecision kills all athletes, but it didn't hurt Yevgeny Flushenko. Hard to see if the judges saw that little two-foot landing on the quad, but still a very good performance. Look at that, five nines. Yeah, 5.7 all the way up to 5.9. And now the second set of marks for presentation. Five eights, five nines. Think he's ready to challenge the best? Yevgeny Plushenko in the lead over Zheng Jingguo of China right now. Back with more of the men's free skate from Nations Cup right after this message and a word from our ABC station. To the Nations Cup competition as it continues here in the city of Gelsenkirchen, Germany. This Nations Cup update sponsored by Dimatab takes us back to a great showdown in the pairs competition here in Germany. The Canadian Salet and Peltier coming off an upset victory at Skate America were trying to win for the second time in the Grand Prix of skating. But it was the European champions, Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov of Russia, who would capture gold in their season debut with a near flawless free skate. While Americans Danielle and Steve Hartzell would shake off a jarring fall and join one of the competition's best performances. So the final results in pairs here in Germany, Petrova and Tikhonov with their first win of the year over Salet and Peltier of Canada. A great free skate, a gutsy one for the Hartzells. They finished seventh. The overall Grand Prix standings, Salet and Peltier with a two-point lead over Berezhnaya and Sikorid Lidza. Pretty much guaranteed to see them both at the final. Petrova and Tikhonov into third with 12 points. And back inside the arena they call Emscher Lippa Hall, this tiny, intimate arena. Right now, Yevgeny Plushenko in the lead over Zheng Jingguo of China and Trifon Zavanovich of the U.S. as Yamato Tamuro of Japan takes the ice. With a surprising third place finish in the short program. Trying to stand on the podium here. Only 20 years of age from Miyagi, Japan. In the short program, Tamura really kept his focus and what I like to call the practice pace, where you don't rush the jumps and you keep everything the same as practice. Let's see if he can continue that here with his big attempt at the quad. Oh. to stand up straight on this landing, get the rotation and have a continuous, and not even close. Timing off there. Japanese National Championship in 98. Finished third last season. And the people here with him tell us he's a bit of a heartthrob back in Japan. Has a fan club, writes a newsletter to his fans every month. Grew up wanting to be a professional baseball player.
not skating as well as he did in the short program. But remember, this is a long program, four minutes and 30 seconds. So as time goes on, the fatigue sets in. All the more reason why you want to keep your timing at the end for the jumps. Just see, not getting the height, rotation he needs to complete those triples. You can see it just reaching for the ice. If there's any kind of break in the waist while you're rotating, what that does is it pulls you forward like that. the different stage for Yamato Tomura of Japan. You can tell he's frustrated at the end of his free skate. Never been this high in the standings or as good a shot to medal at an international event as he does here. I think we get so overwhelmed with the greatness yeah, that we see in the short program sometimes because it's so short, but then when we see four and a half minutes of skating, we see a lot more mistakes. And here's his shot at the quad. He really does get down nicely on the knee explodes, but any kind of flaw in the rotation and you go pitching forward like that because it is so strong, the force that comes over you when you're rotating that fast. Well, right now, Trifon Zivanovic is in third place. And perhaps that is what Yamato Tomura is trying to do, land in that third place spot. The first Set of marks 5.1 to 5.5. 5.1. Marred with errors in the, the second mark. first part of that. 5 .6, 5 and now the second 1. set for presentation. 5 5 and about the same 5 .3, in the 5.1 up to 5.6. 5 5 5 so Yamato tomorrow able to move into third place right behind Zheng Jingguo of China. Plashenko still leads. When we come back, American Matt Savoy takes the ice. He's working his way up the ranks, and he is now surrounded by elite skaters on this Grand Prix circuit. It is a little overwhelming for his first year on the senior international level. It's just weird to be out there with the people that you've been watching for the past five years, you know, and emulating, and then you're skating with them. It's a little awe-inspiring, but... you, <laughs> Savoy. The men's free skate continues as Yevgeny Plushenko leads Zheng Jinguo of China and then Yamato Tomorrow of Japan. But here is Matt Savoy of the U.S. And a great short program for him in fourth place heading into the free skate. Great triple axle. He has no quad in his program, however, he does have solid triples. If you go down on the quad, you shouldn't get cred credit for it. But if you do a good triple, you should get credit for that. Let's see if he can keep the triples going. 
beautiful triple flip, triple toe. This is the second time that we have seen Matt in the Grand Prix. He finished fifth at Skate America on his way to bettering that here in Germany. Fourth at the U.S. Nationals last season. But he just can't let down. He's got to keep strong as he goes into this triple loop. Ah, good timing. Very impressive. Another triple axel. He's got one, possibly two triples left. If he can keep this up, for sure he'll have a good one. He's one away. Good low position on that sit spin. Hard to do because he is so close to the ice. Great strength required in the leg. He definitely has a shot for the podium. Absolutely! A great triple lutz at the end. And again, look at that great low position in the sit spin. Fast, centered, perfect. What a performance. The best that we have seen from Matt Savoy. The sophomore biology major at Bradley University in his hometown of Peoria saying, I don't even know stinking quad. <laughs> you're, you're not kidding. I'll tell you, that's why it's so impressive. A very clean performance without mistakes. Seven triples. It's not a question of whether he's going to get on the podium. It's what medal will it be? Wow. Look at this triple axle. He gets up into the air just fine. And a nice double toe loop right after it. Started things off perfectly. And then the triple axle, the way he gets into that is very difficult because you go backwards to forwards on the same foot and then three and a half rotations. He has absolutely nailed this performance. A terrific job by Matt Zavoy. Well, he had a big bear hug from his coach, Linda Brannon, who has been his coach since Matt was nine years old. There she is. The proud smile on her face. Now, the first set of marks, 5.4 to 5.6. Now, I, I see I would have had those marks higher. You have to judge what they're doing and how clean they're doing it. And he did very clean triples. I would have seen those maybe up a tenth or two. Trying to at least move up a spot to third to stand on the podium. The second set now for presentation 
five up to 5.7, five point five and they're good enough. Six. So Matt Savoy is going to stand on the podium here in Germany four. into five third place. Three. Well deserved. Thank you. Yevgeny Plushenko picks up 12 Grand Prix points for the win. Also $30,000 and a lot of confidence and momentum to start the season. Zheng Jin Guo finishes second. And then Matt Savoy, a free skate of the lifetime for him. He finishes third. Take a look now at our Dove winning moment from the winner, Plushenko. Peter? Give this man a lot of credit. He goes after the big quad four rotations. Not enough for him. Got to go after the triple toe loop too. Plashenko on top of his game. Last year, the world silver medalist, who knows, maybe the gold later on, beginning to have the look of a champion. And Matt Savoy, hard to top this moment. And look at that amazing spread eagle into the triple axle. But above all, what impresses me about this man is he skated a program without mistakes. A lot of triples, no quad, but I'd rather see good triples than a fall on the quad to win. Peter already wearing his medal. Matt Savoy has been joined by our Susie Wynn now. Susie? Thanks, Terry. Matt, congratulations. Now, this is your first medal in a senior competition. You said you were a little nervous going into the free program. It seems like you pushed all of that aside. Uh, sort of. <laughs> I was totally nervous when I stepped out on the ice, but everything just seemed to click, so I went with it and I let it happen. And it worked. Now, you landed seven solid triples. With that, do you think you'll need the quad down the line? I'm sure I'll need a quad somewhere. Um, so that's probably one of my priorities to go work on it. But I'm just happy to have done so well here. Well, congratulations. We're really happy for you, too. Thanks very much. Terry, back to you. All right, Susie, thank you very much. Let's take a look right now at the Grand Prix points through three events. Elvis Stoiko on top, but then right behind him, Yevgeny Plushenko with a 12 here with the victory joins Alexei Yagud, and that'll be a great battle down the stretch. And then it's Matt Savoy who picked up seven here with a third place finish right behind those two. And Timothy Gable has been joined by Zheng Jin Guo of China with nine points. We're not done yet here in Germany, though. Up next, the ladies take the ice for their free skate. Can Maria Butirskaya start the season off right with a gold medal here in Gelsenkirchen? The ladies' free skate comes up next.